Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Dado CMS course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the headless creator. As always, get a hold of me right there. Oops, there we go. There, there, there. <laughs> Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Send me an email with any questions you may have, ideas, comments, whatever it is. Send me, uh, send me an email, and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in Dado CMS uh, some plugins that'll uh, help your authors have a better authoring experience. Uh, it'll have a much better UI um, depending on the fields that you choose. So this is really more focused on the administrator and the administrator. I'm going to show you uh, the admins, how to set up all these, uh, how to set up the plugins and the fields. So that way um, it gives this great experience to your authors. But before we do that, you know how this works. Um, I don't have to tell you, but I will tell you anyway. Uh, go visit headlesscreator.com, get your free account. Uh, I think I'm one away right now, one away from uh, 1,300 registered learners. So I am totally excited. My goal was 1,000 by the end of the year. We are in middle of November and I'm about to hit 1,300. So be that 1,300 person, please. Uh, go and sign up if you if you haven't yet. If you're watching live and you don't have an account, if you're watching live and you have an account, or watching on demand version of this, uh, thank you so much. And what do you get if you signed up? Well, you get obviously this lesson on demand. I mean, in about an hour. But then you also have access to the entire course uh, of Focus Dado, uh, Focus on Dado CMS with a whole bunch of lessons. Not only a whole bunch of lessons on demand, but there's a whole bunch more coming on. Uh, live as well. So you get that. And of course, you get uh, access to pretty much everything else, content modeling weekly, all the focus on uh, courses. I'm about to launch a new series called Bootcamp. It's going to be a bunch of boot camps for you to attend all free. Uh, the Discover Headless Tech uh, course, tons of stuff. Just get your account um, and you believe me, you won't regret it. All right, enough of that. Uh, that's it. I don't I won't do any more marketing. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and restart the intro because you know how this works. Uh, for the on-demand version, there's absolutely no marketing whatsoever. We jump right into the lesson. So I'll see you in just 10 seconds. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Dado CMS course. I am Marcelo Loon, the Headless Creator. As always, get a hold of me right there, Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Feel free to send me uh, an email with any questions you have, comments, ideas for future lessons, whatever you like, send it to me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to work with uh, Dado CMS plugins and specifically plugins that will make the authoring experience much better for your authors. Uh, we're gonna play a little bit with the content model. We're gonna set them up. Uh, this is really focused on you admins, uh, but definitely authors, you, you'll get a sneak peek at what you can do and some of you developers as well. Uh, we're gonna touch on the API Explorer as well. So really it's for everybody, but really mainly focus on author or uh, admins. Okay, let's jump in. I'm gonna go ahead and show my screen. There we go. All right. So let's go into here we are in um, my my uh, uh, project in Dada CMS. And real quick, uh, what are plugins? Plugins are basically a way to extend the functionality of Dada CMS, whether it's uh, extending the functionality of the authoring experience or the publishing experience or the developer experience. It doesn't matter. It's just a way to extend the functionality through plugins and, and it works kind of like other plugins work in other uh, CMSs, um, headless or not, right? Where you extend the functionality. Now, keep one thing in mind, what I'm showing you here today is quote unquote, the uh, legacy plugin framework. Uh, Dado CMS uh, will be, or depending on when you're watching this, has released a new framework that is more robust. Uh, however, this legacy uh, plugin uh, framework and plugins will still work when they release this new framework. So keep that in mind that even though there may be a new framework, all these plugins will still work. Today, I'm going to show you seven plugins. So quite a bit of plugins. I do encourage you 
to actually go and uh, browse all the plugins as an administrator, maybe sit down with your authors and explain, hey, here are the possibilities that we have. So let me show you. If you go into settings, this is for your admins, right? You're gonna go into settings, you're gonna go into plugins, and then under plugins here, you're gonna have probably nothing installed, most likely. If you click on the plus at the bottom, this is where you actually have the plugin marketplace where you can actually search for a variety of plugins let's say you want to search for like a rate rating plugin and here you have a star rating editor which we're actually gonna uh, show you that then it's very easy to install you look at a plugin you go okay this is a cool plugin most plugins will uh, link to their github page so some of them Let's see if this one, there you go. So this one takes you to the GitHub page where you can learn more about that plugin. They give you more information. You actually have the code there if you want to, but you don't need any of that to install it. All you need to do is click on install and it just installs it for you. And it's literally two seconds. Now I've installed already, and these are the ones that I'm gonna cover to you, with you today. Condition of fields, country and US selectors, hidden fields, read-only fields, star rating editor, and type list editor. Don't worry, we're gonna go into each and every one of those. But I wanted you to see where you install them and where you can browse, browse and add more. Of course, you can create your own plugins, which I highly encourage, specifically for your own company, so that way you can customize that experience more and more for your authors. Okay, so let's jump in and let's start with the first plugin. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a quick sip of water here. I feel the, the throat a little bit dry there. <clears throat> okay, so let's go, I'm gonna go into models and the first plugin that I'm gonna do, let's go back to plugins. The first one is gonna be the condition of fields. Have you ever thought, wouldn't it be great to be able to toggle a bunch of fields on and off so if we don't need to show them or if the author doesn't need to see them immediately, they don't see that, they're not overloaded by a bunch of fields, right? Well, guess what? That's what Condition of Fields plugin does. So let's look at that. Let's go into what we're gonna do is I have a, a very simple content type. Author has a first name, last name, address details and contact details. Now address details and contact details, if you notice, it's a modular content type that points to a block. So if we go to the blocks library, it just points to an address block and a contact block, that's it. Simple stuff, nothing crazy. So what I'm gonna do is for this author, I'm gonna create first, I'm gonna create an entry. So let's just go there and create an entry. And now look, as soon as we create the entry, we see address details and contact details. But let's suppose that you really, you don't, the author only needs to see first name and last name, and it's rare that they're gonna add address details and contact details. So why show them this if you really don't have to? Just don't show them this, and if they want to, they, they toggle them open. So let's do this. We'll say, uh, we'll just add Marcelo Lewin. I'll just create it. We'll click on save. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, with the conditional fields plugin, what we'll do is we're gonna go into settings, sorry, settings, models, right here, and we're gonna add a new field. And we're gonna call this field show author details. And the field is gonna be a Boolean. This plugin uses the Boolean type. So we're gonna say Boolean. I'm gonna say show author details. Then we're gonna to go to presentation. Then we're gonna to go to insert add-on and you see right here, conditional fields. When you do that, it's gonna ask you, okay, when they toggle this, which fields do you wanna show? Okay, now I have the uh, IDs already and I'll show you where to get them. But what it's asking you here is which fields do you want to show in this content model? But I need the field IDs. So I'm putting them in here, address and contact details. I'll show you what this show slave fields when the this field is false. What what that does, I'll show you later. But I'm gonna click on save right now. Let it save. I'm gonna take the show author details and put it above here. Now, where do you get the ID for the fields that you wanna hide? Well, if you go into, for example, edit field, right here is your field ID. Contact details, right there is my field ID. So you can see we have, um, we said this was address and contact details. So if we go back to this presentation, 
address and contact details. Make sure, make sure, because I ran into this issue, that there's absolutely no space in front of this, because if you do that, it won't work. Just keep that in mind. Very important to know. Okay, so now let's go to content and let's create a new record. And you already see it. Check this out. Most of the time, let's pretend our authors are just gonna enter first name and last name, but there is that exception that goes, oh, for this person, we're gonna need some author details. So then they can toggle it on and boom, it shows it. Now on the back end, it, it makes no difference. This is purely a front end on the authoring experience. On the back end, it still stores null if you don't enter it because we made it optional. Um, now, if you made it required, of course, this wouldn't work, right? Because it would it would give you an error. Uh, in other words, when you save it, it's going to say, well, you've got to enter whatever it is you have to enter. But I made it optional here. So this is a great plugin because you can then start customizing. Like imagine show author details or show author favorite colors. I don't know, whatever it may be, right? But you can start customizing it and present a very simple screen to your authors. Uh, without overloading them all at once and let them choose when they want to. Okay, so uh, let's see. Oh, I want to show you the opposite of instead of show author details is hide author details. So how do you do that? If we go back for the same plugin, if we go back to settings, yes, let's discard this. We'll go back to settings. We'll go back to show author details. We'll say edit field. And under presentation, we'll say show slave fields when the field is false. So if I do that, I'm going to change the name of this to hide author details. So we'll click on save. Now the difference is, right, when we go to content, you can see that it's showing by default. And if they don't want to, they could hide it. So that's what that toggle is for, is a kind of like the reverse functionality. Okay, so that's that's the conditional fields plugin. I'll go back to here. And you, of course, you can review this later in the on-demand version if you have an account. But under the plugins, that was conditional fields. Okay, all right. So now let's move on to the next one. And I'm going to do these two plugins because it's by the same uh, plugin creator. Uh, together because it makes sense to do them together. This, these two plugins are the country selector. There's two versions. I picked the latest version and the US state selector. So let me explain what that is. Let's go to content and let's add an author. We'll say John Doe and we'll say new address. Now notice that we have address city zip code state and country so for state i have to put ca and then usa but another person another author may end up putting uh well here i i did say only two characters so they can't but for the country they may put usa or they may put united states of america and now we have kind of a mess going on here 